Hello, 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 everybody. Hi, my name is E. This is E's Creation Paint Party. It's Thursday night. Oh, yeah, we're partying quick <laughs> this week. Uh, say hello, hello, hello. If you're painting with me, let me know if anyone's painting with you with me. Of course, we have to give props to you. No, woo -hoo. he wants to say hi to all you guys. Say hi to your fans, butters. Oh, but. <laughs> Yes, I know. You love them so much. You're like, thank you guys. Thank you guys for all the support. I get my kibbles. I get my dentist sticks. It's all good stuff. <laughs> I swear he has me trained. As soon as I say hello, 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 he starts running around. Alrighty, bye. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to walk you over. Okay, so the most important thing is right there. All right, we have the same colors every single time we paint. Black, red, yellow, blue, and white. And we have, I don't know why I'm singing this, but anyway, we have Big Boy. He is a one-inch flat. We have Tiny in the house. He is a small round for details. Of course, Mr. Nifty's hanging out with us today. And we have Mini Me. He is a small shader. All righty. Roll call time. Hello, 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 my uh, my OG Tina B. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. And Cindy is here. Hello, 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 Cindy. How are you doing? <laughs> We're a day early. We're a day early. I'm going to tell you guys a, a great story um, while everybody uh, comes in and says hello and all of that good stuff. So I'll explain why we arrived uh, Thursday night in it. Nope, it's not Friday yet, Sam. This week we're doing it on Thursday. Everybody voted. Everybody voted. So I asked later on Friday or Thursday night. And everybody, uh, it was pretty close actually, but the majority was tonight. So here we are. Hello, 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 Barbara from Florida. Everybody give a warm Eve's Creations welcome to Barbara. Yes, I saw your message, Sam. Congratulations. I hope you find something. Everybody, Sam is job hunting, so uh, we got to send her blessings so she finds something cool. Something cool to do with the job hunting. All right. <laughs> hey, everybody. All right, I'm going to put you... He, he finished that already. He's a nut. He's a nut. All right, I'm going to put you guys in your handy-dandy holder. Handy-dandy holder time. Yes, it is. It's handy dandy older time. There we go. Back it up. All right, you guys ready for your jolt? It's jolt time. And coming in with some stars. Thank you so much, Ann. All right, ready for your jolt, guys? There you go. Oh, that felt good. All right, let me grab my list because more people are coming. More people are coming in. Hey, all right, Kimberly's here. Hello, 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 Kimberly. How are you doing, sweetheart? What's going on? Uh, Ann already kicked off our stars. Thank you so much, Ann. I appreciate that. Uh, stars is enabled. They're about a penny each, and they're a way to send me some support. Um, you know, if you think I'm entertaining and knowledgeable and uh, all of that good stuff, <laughs> um, you want to send stars. They're a penny each. Ask Tina how to set them up. She's my OG. She knows those technical questions. There's no cash app anymore, Tina B. I'm done. I tried, and I'm done. Maybe in the future, I'll let you know. But as for right now, ah, <laughs> That's all I got to say. That's all I got to say about that subject. Arr. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, all my videos are kid-friendly. I'm going to try to watch this thing if you guys could watch your comments. Okay, and um, replays are available on YouTube. I also have Venmo and PayPal. I just linked my website. Everything can be found on my website. Who just, Carolyn came in. Hello, 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 Carolyn. Um, if you, uh, for support, there's a button that says support. It's going to bring you right to where PayPal and Venmo are. All right, um, for YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, all that good stuff. Oh, that, uh, why, why did you prefer cash? Oh, less of a fee. Oh, I got you. Yeah. Well, er, you know, they took their cut too. So it is what it is. Um, eventually maybe I'll figure it out. I don't know. 
Um, what was I saying? Oh, so uh, to reach those, you hit the button that says linked. Okay, so support and linked. That's all you need to know. All right, guys. So everything is available for you right there. All right. Uh, linked also brings you to my Etsy shop. So uh, you could purchase art. Um, it takes two days to transfer um, Cash App. I don't know. I have no idea. I. <laughs> Everybody takes whatever. They take their cut all the time. So um, the shipping, the um, the pay apps, the um, post office. Like, well, I said shipping. Anywho. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I'm working on a 16 by 20. It is 20 this way, 16 straight up and down. If you're using a different size, um, if you're using a different size canvas, as long as you're in the general area of your canvas that I am in, you will be fine. Uh, I don't know, Sam. My sister uh, posts them to YouTube. She's my button pressure press bleh, button presser. Um, so um, I'm not really sure. I haven't looked. I didn't look at it. It will be. If it's not already, it might be already. So just just go look, go look, honey. Okay, I'm not really. Sh I think she pressed the button, but I'm not really sure. So if you're new to me, say hello, 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 and uh, you're welcome, sweetheart. And uh, we're gonna get started. Oh yeah. Oh, those of you following my make 'em up journey, I decided to mimic the red flower. <laughs> kind of looks like a sunset, doesn't it? I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> Speaking of which, shirts are available on the website too. We had an order for a shirt this week. We're in the middle of processing it. If it was a special order, so if you need something special or different or size-wise, message me and uh, we'll figure it out. All right, guys, we'll figure it out. Okay. Woo! I think I did it all. Did I get it all? I think I got it all. All right, you guys ready to learn some stuff? We're going to be learning lots of stuff. I want to ask you guys. Hey, Diane. Oh, geez. It's 92. It's 92. The Ferris wheel isn't on YouTube yet. All right. I'll write that down. I'll write that down. Uh, and I'll uh, text my sister, guys. She did have her grandson around, so some of it might be a little willy-nilly until she gets uh, settled again. He was here for like the whole month. Uh, Jimmy's playing with his friends. Oh, Diane. Prayers and blessings, guys. Diane lost her furry friend. Aw. Well... He was a good boy. <laughs> he was such a good boy. I enjoyed all the pictures you'd send send uh, of him to me. So, um, but at least he's feeling a okay now. <laughs> no more aches and pains and all that kind of stuff. So he's romping around, running around, playing fetch, playing tag, playing all sorts of stuff. Right? Aw. I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but but um. Losing a, a fur, losing one of our floofers, it, like, hurts worse than a person. I, I, there, I said it. <laughs> I said it. That's all there is to it. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Let's do this. What? It's the, oh, did you guys take your screenshot? Make sure you get, Joan, did you take your screenshot? I forgot to remind you. All right, swipe the comments off and take your screenshot because I can't show you both at once. But we're working on and uh, our finished thing. So if you need a screenshot, do it. All right. Three, two, one. Okay. Woo! It's the almighty blank canvas, but we're going to hit it with our almighty brushes. I have... Um, gallery paintings to show you um, that are available for purchase so a little gallery showing and I have next week's you remembered? awesome that's awesome I have next week's alright we're swirl tap dab and big boy and uh, if you're changing the color of your flowers now the reason I went with green is green makes reds pop okay 
So I went with green because I have a red flower and the purpley blue flower, purple has red in it. So it would play with that. Um, if you're doing your flowers a different color, say you're doing your flowers um, blue, right? Then you'd want an orange background. If you're doing them uh, purple, you'd want a yellow background. If you're doing them, um, you know, and any shades therein. If you're doing like pink, you want a green, all right? Those are opposite each other, the color wheel, so they make each other pop, okay? So, um, all right, bye, Sam. See you soon, honey. So if you're changing the color of your flower, and, and if you're not sure what color to do, just ask me. All right, we're grabbing uh, blue, yellow, and white. Okay, so we're grabbing white, we're grabbing blue, and we're grabbing yellow. Now, we are not uh, doing the whole entire canvas tonight, just to let you know of the background. All right, so you are going to, if you want to make like a, a circle for yourself, like this is the one flower, and this is the other flower. Okay, mark those off for yourself. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. You know I want to add two dots to these, but I am not going to do it. <laughs> you know I want to. <laughs> Anywho, we're not doing the whole canvas. We're just going around our two circles. Our two circles is what we're doing. Okay. And I'm gonna grab some more blue, gonna grab some more yellow, gonna grab some more white. Da 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 da. And I'm gonna slap it all around. And I'm doing crisscrosses, okay? This way, this way, this way, this way. Just really fast. Just doing it really fast. And this way you get uh, really cool textures. Right? As you're blending these colors together, you're going to get these really cool little texture uh, moments in there. Oh, yeah. I got too much paint right here. All right. Let's scoop some off. Right? Thin, nice thin coat. Tina, thin coat. <laughs> thin. We want it thin. We want it egg. Exactly, Ann. <laughs> I want to put two dots. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't because we're kid friendly so I'm not going to you know exactly what I was thinking that's exactly what I was thinking too <laughs> alright grab some more paint finish off this side here do, 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 do. right very sloppy very sloppy, just doing the crisscross, crisscross. All right, swishing this all together. Okay, I don't want it one solid color. I want different little variations and things going on. So, how <laughs> you didn't get that the first time I said it? <laughs> you got it now. <laughs> you got it now, doll. You got it now. <laughs> All right, up, oh, down here. Do, do, do. Okay, nice thin layer, so it dries. And you're not going to be trying to paint your flowers and getting green in your flowers, or if you did a different color. All right, 6,000%. So. Uh, you guys are gonna know like what my um, what my um, my mindset is as far as uh, summer is concerned <laughs> as soon as I show you the painting that's uh, for next week. It's a surprise, 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 surprise. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. That's the only hint I'm gonna give you. It's the only hint I'm gonna give you. All right, so now that I have this filled in, I'm just wiping back and forth, getting rid of any goopy gobby moments, okay? 
nice thin layer, right? You want coverage, but you don't want glops. Coverage, but you don't want glops. Okay, 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 okay. All right. See me stamping like this? Um, it's because I have a stubborn piece of canvas. So I'm just smacking the paint into the little stubborn pieces of the, um, I don't know, call it grain on the canvas. Okay, so um, if you're wondering why I'm, I'm smacking, that's what I'm doing. Because we have a stubborn canvas. If the canvas is stubborn, it's being stubborn. All right. Oh, I dropped my paper towels. Whoo, yikes. Tonight I pre-painted the whole background green. Now what the colors should I use for the flowers? Uh, Joan, it's fine that you already pre-painted the whole background green. Because we're going to map in white. So it's dry. You're going to map in white. And um, if you did a green background, um, you can do pinks. You can do reds. Okay. Uh, anything with reds. Um, the same as mine. Right? I got a purple and a red. So, um, you can do the same colors as my flowers if you want. Thanks for the stars, and he just figured out how to send more than 50 stars. Yeah, well, uh, you need to, uh, you need to tell Joan how to do that. <laughs> Joan still sends 50 cents at a time, too. <laughs> I don't know anything about it on your end, guys, but I do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, all right, so... It is fine that you painted the whole canvas already, Joe. No worries, because we're going to map. We're going to map it out with white, so. I'm swirl tap dabbing, big boy. And we're going to have this uh, sit a minute. I'm going to sip my coffee. We're going to do some roll call. It's roll call time. It says there's 30 of you in here. Hi, everybody. I don't know if you guys are just being creepers. That's okay. We don't mind creepers. We got creepers, watchers, and painters. So, you all fall in one category or another. So, Tina B., Cindy, Ann, Sam, Joan, Bar Sam, Ariela, Barbara, Kimberly, Terry, Carolyn, and Diane. That's who I got so far. <laughs> Roll call. So, if I missed you, let me know. Let me know. Right? Okay. So, for some reason, my house is just not cooling off today. I don't know what it is. I think because I shut my um, my AC off um, at night because I'm in the bedroom. So, I just put the bedroom one on. And I think it got a little too warm in here. So, it's like, I'm going to help, but I ain't going to be kicking. Okay. Hey, Wanda, Wanda being a creeper. What's up, sweetheart? How you doing? Okay, so we got a nice clean big boy. We're going to grab some white paint. If green gets mixed in or whatever your background is, that is fine. That is fine. We are just going to be putting in our shapes. All right, so we're going to start with this guy right here. And there's five petals, right? So I'm going to find my center. Ooh. And we're going to turn around and go uh, one. And we're going to go two. All right, I'm going to add some paint in this so you guys see what I'm doing. But you guys do it in white, all right? But I'm going to add some paint so you can see what I'm doing. All right, I went one. I went two. Okay. We're going to go three. three and four. Four and five. All right. Once we have those in place, grabbing more paint. I mean, you can mix a little bit of the color of the flower it's going to be, but you want majority of white. All right. So we're gonna um, we're gonna do a little whoop, wavy piece right there, and then bring it in. Kind of like a, a, a mellow heart, right? Kind of like a mellow heart. Okay, so we're doing that. I'm gonna grab some white paint now. Just fill that in. Okay, so Joan, you're just gonna do this all in white, honey. That's all. I'm just adding color because uh, you guys uh, wouldn't be able to see what I'm doing. 
without adding some color to it. But you're going to do this all on white paper. Alright. Okay. Looks like the beginning of a starfish. Yeah. So you would do a starfish the same way. Absolutely, Carolyn. Okay. We're going to do this one now. So here it is. So I'm going to squiggle do. Bring it in. Right. Fill it in. Fill it in, fill and fix, fill and fix, right? Make sure that where it's connecting, it's just background left showing, okay? So if you have white showing, you want to uh, bring your petal up uh, further, okay? You want to make sure that on your edges, it's just background showing, okay? Now, after I painted this, you know what I had the hardest time with? I, um... Which way to put the uh, canvas? I didn't know whether I wanted it vertical, sideways, uh, what flower I wanted on the left, what flower I wanted on the right. <laughs> I had no idea where to put my name. No idea. All right, so those of you, um, so tomorrow, right? Okay, I got a story to tell you. Story time with Eve. I put purple in my hair, guys. If you, did you notice? So, um, everywhere that I was frosted, <laughs> wound up taking the color. So, now I'm purple frosted. <laughs> oh, that's what happens when it's late at night and uh, I'm, uh, you know. Anyway, okay. So, we're going to do this one. Now, this one is just a curve because it's just the piece of the petal. Bring it in, fill and fix, okay, we're making flowers, baby, we're making flowers, so we're going to start with the darker one first because uh, it's easier, and then um, you'll know exactly what you're doing, doing the lighter flower, which is a little more tricky, alright, so the next one is a swoop off the canvas, swoop, and a curl, let's see, what is it doing? Oh, it's coming in this way, swoop, like that, all right, there we go, found it, I found it, we found it, all right, I want to ask you guys, oh, Friday, okay, so, you guys remember, I don't know, maybe about a month ago or so, that I went to go see, um, this band called uh, Nicotine Dolls, right? I don't know if you guys remember, I was very proud of myself because I actually um, drove uh, to Asbury and everything else and uh, floated home because I got to meet the band members and all that stuff. I don't, did I tell you that story? Anyway, um, to so... They have, uh, uh, you remember Wanda? Okay. <laughs> so, um, they have a um, page, it's called uh, Patreon, where you like support the artist, and it's only three bucks a month, and I'm like, well, psh, even I can do that. And uh, so, they just announced um, a couple days ago that tomorrow night they're going to do a virtual like Zoom meeting to um, hang out with everybody and, and meet everybody. So, um, and of course, that's at like 5 or 6 Eastern. So, like, right when we're supposed to start our thing. So, uh, tomorrow night, I'm going to be doing a virtual meeting and get to hang out with uh, the lead singer of the band and talk music and be giddy and dumb and probably fangirling the whole time. <laughs> I really hope that I can maintain some composure so I don't make a complete ABC out of myself, you know, <laughs> big A. <laughs> so, yeah, isn't that really cool? I thought that was really cool. So they just released a new song, and it's a, a, like a whole thing of just hanging out, talking about the lyrics, the music video, any questions. So... I was like, I really want to do that because I really enjoy the band. And it helps that the lead singer's cute. 
So, and I hope he never sees this. <laughs> I'm turning red. Anywho. <laughs> Anywho. Right? Cheese and crack. We're still blushing at this age. Wow. <laughs> oh, I'm like a little kid, I swear. So, that's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. I'm going to be hanging out with the, the band, the lead singer of the band, and we're going to talk music. And um, and that's and since it started around 5 or 6, that's why I asked you guys, because if you wanted it later tomorrow, because when it was done, we could have easily done this tomorrow. But um, you guys voted for today because you couldn't just, you couldn't wait to hang out with Eve. So, here we are. Here we are. Okay, next flower. I'm going to swirl tap dab my brush. And I'm going to grab uh, white and I'll grab a little bit of red so you can see what I'm doing. Just a smidge. And I'm going to find my center. Center! And we're going to do our hands of a clock, right? So we got one petal this way. Got another pedal, pedal going up this way. Okay, we got one uh, going this way. And over here, little tuck tuck pedal. And one here. Alright, so grab some more paint. And this one's a swoop, swoop. And the little uh, softy heart edge. Okay, so that's this one. Swoopy doo, swoopy doo. Again, make sure your edges are touching either background or the other flower. If your edge is touching um, open space, make your petal bigger. Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm watching tonight. You have a girlfriend coming to visit for the weekend. I hope this will be online so we can paint Sunday. Uh, tomorrow night I will be at my son's house eating supper and being with your great granddaughter. Oh, that sounds amazing. Sounds really cool. All right. Um, I'll text my sister and um, hopefully she's available and we'll get those two videos up for you. Okay. Try our best. I mean, it is only Thursday. Oh, see, it's only Thursday. All right, so she'll have like two two days to do it. Okay, that's cool. All right, so next petal. All right, comes up. This has like a flat edge to it. Swoop, swoop it in. Now see how I have background there? So I'm gonna make my petal bigger. Okay, you wanna make sure all that background is covered up. I'm really excited to show this to you guys. I wanna ask you guys a question. All right, so um, the other week we did the double wave painting. And the double wave painting was um, a lot of new techniques and a lot of uh, level up. Um, which Joan, who actually shows me her pictures, hint, hint, everybody. Hey, Debbie, how you doing, sweetheart? Um, nailed knocked it out of the park. Um, do you guys want more paintings that are like all level up or do you like it the way it is now with um, just uh, certain, oh hi Robert, um, you know certain techniques within a painting but the whole painting isn't like a level up painting. It's just certain things in the paintings will level up. That would be great. If not, we could pick another one. This seems like a good first time picture. <laughs> okay. I guess you'll see when we get to the end if it's a good first time picture or not. <laughs> so, do you want it the, uh, the way that it's been going? Um, you know, a painting that's a little easier with some level up pieces in it? Or the whole painting is level up stuff and you guys are going to learn a whole bunch of new techniques and whatnot. Hey Nancy, how you doing? 
Don't make you go to the corner. Becky, our sheriff is out of town right now. Our sheriff is out of town. Becky's here. Nancy's here. Nancy's been here. All right. What you been? Wait. What are you doing, Nancy? And I said, "What the heck? You've been here the whole time." And I say, "Hi. What? What's going on with that?" <laughs> the sheriff is out of town. The sheriff is out of town. Okay. This pedal is like tucked. Okay. So I'm gonna uh, swoopy do and bring it in. Okay, his little tucky tuck pedal. Every painting is new to you. You're a beginner. Okay. Well, I know, I know most of you, um, and, and all of my stuff is geared towards the beginners. I like level up, but I understand that you have newer first time painters and need to have a mix. Okay. So basically just keep doing what I'm doing. Still a little easy, but with level ups. Okay. I got you guys. All right. I was just curious because the wave, like the whole painting was a level up. Pretty much the whole entire thing was a level up. There was a lot of new techniques I showed you in that painting. A lot of things you guys had to pay attention to. Um, like tonight, tonight's not that bad. Tonight, um, and, and the fact that it's extra, extra large, um, you're going to wind up, it's going to be easier for you. But tonight we're learning all about uh, shading and highlighting. That's what uh, tonight's deal is. All right, I'll give you some ketchup mustard time. Get your petals in there. Leave it alone. It's it's still see-through at this point. The, the more you play with it, the bigger it's going to get. And they're already huge, the flowers. The flowers are already huge. <laughs> Stop playing with your edges. Stop trying to make it perfect. This is layer one, people. Layer one. And you know... As soon as, uh, as, when we add more layers, they're, they're going to get a little bit bigger. And Fridays seem to be bad for you this summer. I've missed a lot of your, oh, yeah. Well, summer, it's like that. I think once we get into um, fall and winter and everybody kind of calms down, I'm taking you guys out of your holder because I want to show you something. If I could figure out how to do it. There it is. You guys ready? Shh, gotta be quiet. I honestly haven't been painting too much this summer because my daughter is teaching summer school, so you have Logan all the days. Yeah, it's kind of hard when you got a kid around, <laughs> right? I just want to crawl in there with him. <laughs> I, I messed this all up now. I got to put you guys back in. You got school. Right? We're all busy. I'm glad you're feeling better, Diane. Um, it's hard when you got a little one around, that's for sure. Yeah. He's a good boy. He's wacky, like his mother. Okay. So, now, the next layer is easy peasy. We're not doing anything but adding a second coat of color. All right, so now you're going to introduce your color, and we're just coloring. We're not doing anything but coloring, okay? You're not worrying about shading. You're not worrying about anything. You're just coloring. All right, so swirl, tap, dab, and big boy. 
and I need more white paint so you're gonna you're gonna use white again right because this is still see-through so we need to add white and you're gonna um, grab the color that you're making your flower so about even Steven and as you're coloring though I want you to do petal by petal and I want you to follow the shape of the petal so you get those brush strokes you get the shape in your mind and okay don't be stressing your edges too much because we're gonna uh, clean them up do I teach kids in a school or classroom um, no well no uh, no yeah I was um I was a substitute teacher pre um, pre COVID um, I'm looking into that again because uh, things are kind of moving slow with the the art thing um, so have I taught kids in the classroom absolutely but um, am I a certified teacher for public schools no I was just a substitute um, do I teach people in real life the uh, painting yeah so I um, I'm a mobile unit paint party um, business so I bring my paint parties out to other people. Um, I have two venues now that starting in September, we're gonna try to uh, bring some paint parties into them and, and get a uh, you know a good group of people going. So uh, do I show people in person how to paint? Absolutely, I love it, love it. I am so blessed that I get to do something I enjoy so much. I really, I really love teaching, I do. And I'm blessed that I was given the capabilities to do it. Aw, thanks, Ann. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so. Let me color. I got to color. We're going to be here for like six hours. <laughs> I keep jawing away. <laughs> Just jawing away. <laughs> right? So, uh, anyway. Um, so, in the fall... Um, Manchester schools start uh, September 9th or something. You know, some schools started already. Isn't that crazy? Um, aw, Becky. <laughs> no, you're fine, Ann. You're fine. I'm the one that's rambling, and I, I don't know why I'm, like, all rambling. Like, I'm just talking and talking and talking. All right. So, you don't want to go. So, but you don't want to turn around and have a brush stroke line so outline the petal and then you're going to take your brush and you're going to go on that outline and you're going to pull it into your flower okay this way you don't have an outlining brush stroke all right guys um one of my aspirations that i wanted to be was i wanted to be a, a math teacher most schools have started in Colorado. Yeah, I wanted to be a, a math teacher, and um, I wanted to show kids how to do uh, algebra. Um, but I couldn't um, pass the high school test, and, uh, but I passed the other ones. I could go into a middle school or something, and I only ha I had to do observations which was all that was left. I passed all the tests, I took the class, I did all those things, I have my degrees on the wall. Um, and then COVID happened. So that kind of put a hitch on anything. I'm such a humble and genuine person, you can't, oh, you guys are gonna make me blush. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I'm so awkward, right? Thank you. <laughs> thank you, everybody, for your kind words, right? Why is it so hard for a woman to say thank you, right? Anybody else have that? It took me a long time to learn how to say thank you to a compliment. You know, somebody would, like, compliment my shirt, and I'd be like, oh, this old thing, you know what I mean? Or, or and, uh, stuff like that, like, 
it took me a long time to learn how to just say thank you instead of negating the compliment with some sort of uh, remark, you know? I don't know why that is. I don't know what that's all about, but all right. This petal's looking a little tiny compared to the other ones. I'm gonna make it bigger, all right? That's why we call it fill and fix. That petal is looking a little tiny. <laughs> it was cold. <laughs> oh goodness gracious! Behave, Eve. Ah, <laughs> uh, Anne started it. It's Anne's fault. It's your fault, Anne. All right, let's roll tap, Dad, big boy. Now. Now. The stuff we're about to do. A lot of it, um, I still have trouble with, with that. Oh, with the, the compliment thing? Yeah, yeah. Um, so the stuff we're about to do is the level up stuff. Um, I want you to try it. Okay, I want you to try, after we color in the other flower, I want you to try it. Do the best you can. If you're totally... And, you know, do the practice, but you don't like the way it's looking. You can easily go back to, like, this step. And what you would do is you make one petal darker, one petal lighter, right? The petals that are winning, the petals that are on top, you would make lighter. And then the other petals darker, and you can just leave it like that. So, you're going to try the level up stuff. You're going to try the shading and the highlighting. But if it's not working out for you, you can just go back to this step. And just color in all your petals, making it, um, making the petals like different shades, darker and lighter. Okay? Alright, so if it ain't working for you, you just go right back to this point. Okay? And there's no shame in that, guys. Like, I don't know why there's such a stigma around getting things wrong. I mean, um, I think the word failure is kind of uh, harsh, right? Because nobody's a complete failure, but we do fail, right? We do, we do have, we do have error. You know what I mean? And but if we didn't have that, those are our opportunities to grow and learn, right? If we did everything perfect right out the gate, how would we learn anything new? You know what I mean? Like, so to me, I think making a mistake or failing at something is um, important because that's how you wind up growing, right? Because you can look at it, you can look at how you screwed up, right? And you can learn from it. Be like, oh, hey, maybe I shouldn't do that next time. <laughs> 6,000%. Okay. So, still coloring here. Alright. Notice I'm holding my brush close, right? Notice I'm curving it when I'm doing my edges, right? Notice I'm, I'm allowing it to pull and I'm churning it, okay, and I'm holding my brush really close so I get the shape of the petal in. I can use the edge to curl it around. Okay, guys, so hand placement on your brush is very important because the different spots on the brush make different effects happen. All right, we're all colored in. I'm going to cheat, and I'm going to uh, clean out Big Boy in my sink because he's loaded with uh, all sorts of paint. So we're going to cheat because I don't feel like swirling them for the next five minutes. <laughs> the more you swirl, the cleaner it gets. 
Hey guys, yeah, you know, and um, those of you that still need brushes, I still have the brush sets, I still have the paint kits, I have all the shirts. I know some of you ordered shirts, um, so if you want to order shirts and if you want to order um, the paint kits or the brush sets, the only brushes you're ever going to need to do every single video with me and seriously, like you know how old this brush is? It's pretty old. It's years. Years. Exactly, Ann. Exactly. 6,000%. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we're going to put our shading and our highlights in. And um, now, I want you to think, hold on, I wanted to get a piece of paper and I forgot. I want you to think of the uh, petals as curved, curved objects. Okay, so. Hold on, of course I can't just grab a piece of paper. So I want you to, I want you to think of the petals as curved objects, right? Which is kind of hard to do in your head sometimes. So say this is our petal right this is our petal now when you curl it notice how the bend is brighter right notice the light on the bend notice the shadow that forms on the sides and the shadow that forms where I'm pinching it okay now if you bend it like this Right? Notice the shadows where I'm pinching it. Okay? Notice the how the bend has the light hitting it, right? Right on the curl part. Okay, so that's how you want to think of your petals. Right? They're curved triangle objects. So you have the bend piece that's light, and then you have the shadow in the creases. Okay? And then if you had another petal on top of it, right? Now we're going to get another petal and get my fingers to work, right? Okay? And when you put another petal on top of it, that's going to create shadow. See how right where the crease is, there's shadow? Right? See where there's shadow? Right in this crease? Okay? And the, the other parts are bright. These two curled parts are bright on top, but there's shadow in here. See the shadow? All right? And then if you bend it, okay? Now you have the brighter part here, and see how this becomes even more of a shadow? That's where your flower petals are going. So that's how you want to think about your flower petals. You want to think about the parts that are curled, right? The parts that are curved, and then the parts that are either against the other flower or in the center. And you can't do any blending if your paint's dry, just to let you know. So I'm going to grab my blue. And I want to grab some red, and I'm going to dab, dab, and that's a really dark color, right? And I'm going to come in, and i got to pick which flower's on the bottom and which one's on top. So I'm going to make this one on the bottom. I'm going to come in with the dark color, and I'm going to do the sides, right? Because we said the sides are going to be dark. I just showed you with the paper where the other flower is on top of it, and this center part's going to be dark. Okay, and then where it's folded over on the other side, this is going to be dark, right, right there. I'm going to wipe off my brush, okay, I'm going to soften this out. Okay, I'm going to soften this out. 
And now I'm gonna grab tiniest bit of white, like microscopic amount of white with that color that I just made. And I'm gonna put that curved close up. I'm gonna put that curved where the bend would be. Very little amount of paint. Right? I'm gonna wipe off my brush and we're just going to do a little back and forth motion very lightly between the two. Right? I'm gonna wipe off my brush and I'm going to just lightly pull it all together. And that's what you're gonna do for every petal. Okay, that's what we're gonna do for all our petals. Right now, this one, this one, this is over this, but this is over that. All right. So the side that is underneath the other petal, I'm gonna put my dark in. Very little paint. Very little paint. I'm gonna dab it so it softens out. All right. I'm going to grab some more of the dark paint and I'm going to come out the center, but I want to leave this, I don't want to put any paint where that side is. Wipe off my brush. Just soften this. Okay, just soften it. That's all you're doing. No paint on my brush. No paint on my brush. And then I'm going to grab the darker color. And we're gonna do this edge right here. And the little edge right here. Wipe off my brush. Soften. Very little paint. If you use a lot of paint, you're gonna wind up having your dark go everywhere. And then you're just gonna have a solid dark petal. Now I'm gonna grab some white. I'm going to do this outline, Whoop. boom, he's on top, I'm going to do the curl part, right, arching, arching brush strokes, okay, I'm going to fill this in with uh, pretty close to the original color. Wipe off my brush, and now we're going to soften it all together. So I'm just going to dab, I'm just dabbing. All right, I'm dabbing on those edges. All right, dabbing on these edges. I'm going to swirl tap dab my brush. Okay, Shelly, I'm using Big Boy in the one inch flat. I'm going to swirl tap dab my brush because it's getting a little dry. Okay, uh, Shelly, it'll be available on YouTube, sweetheart. And I'm going to soften this all together now. So I have a nice moist brush here. And that's how you do it, guys. And then um, you're going to go back in. You can take uh, Mini Me, right, the shader, right? And you can zigzag zoom in. It's 
some darker moments, right? Maybe it blended out on you. Maybe, maybe it's not so uh, apparent anymore. Okay. Wipe my brush off. Zigzag zoom. Zigzag zoom the edges. Okay, and I can do it over here to really clean up my edge of my flower, right? Notice I'm holding it close, I'm taking my time, doing the edge of my flower, my petal. Okay, wipe my brush off, zigzag zoom. Okay, and there you go. And um, you could uh, grab a little bit more white if you want to, if you really want like a, whew, whew, that's bright right there. I'm gonna swirl tap dab my brush, right? Have a little moisture in it, a little moist. Have it a little moist, okay? And I'm just gonna zigzag zone. Following that curve, follow that curve. Okay, and this is a really good practice for you guys to learn how to blend and how to shade and how to highlight because it's it's large, so you have plenty of room to work with. And like I said, if this becomes a mushy mess on you, you can let it dry and try again, or you could just go back to what we did before of coloring it all in. And you're gonna do this for your whole dark flower. That's it, dark base light. That's it. Alright, I'm grabbing a uh, big boy again. I'm grabbing white. I'm grabbing my purple color. I'm going to do this edge. Whoop. Nice and bright. I'm going to do the curve, okay, I'm going to do the center and under this petal nice and dark, the edge nice and dark, I'm going to clean off my brush. Roll tap tap the brush. And we're gonna dab this all together. Little zigzag zoom. my brush I am just using the paint that's already on the canvas just a nice soft wet brush um, like I said you could grab uh, mini me grab mini me you could put in uh, even darker Wipe my brush off, zigzag zoom, right, zigzag zoom between the edge of the dark and the wet, the wet paint. Okay, I could put a brighter piece in, grab some white, stay right here, boom, oh, it's bright right there, right, so bright right there, Cause and if you notice, everything's curved. Follow that curve. <laughs> Wiping off my brush, clean brush. Okay. Now you guys, when you go to paint this, you have to pay attention to all the wiping off my brush, using a damp brush, um, light touch. 
harder touch, no paint, little paint. Those are all very important things. Okay? Very important things. And that's it. So that is how you do your uh, flower petals. All right? So I'm going to knock these uh, other two out real quick so you can see how I do it. Okay, lighter paint because that's on top. Lighter paint because this is my curl. Lighter paint because it's on top on this side. Darker paint in the crease. Darker paint on the edge. Wipe off my brush. I, got too, I have too much paint on here. So I'm going to wipe some off. Soften it through. Grab mini me. Right? You guys can do this. It's not hard. It's just getting, uh, it's just getting the, uh, I'm gonna grab some, uh, white right here. Bam! Right there. Oh, yeah. Wiping off my brush. You listen to me? Wiping off my brush. No paint on my brush. Okay? Zigzag zone the edges. Follow that curve. Okay, zigzag zoom in the edges. Hey, Lucinda, how you doing, sweetheart? Wiping off my brush. Now I'm going to just soften through the whole thing. How's your mouth? Everybody prayers and wishes to Lucinda. She went to the dentist today. Okay? Just like that. You guys can do this. I know you can do this. 6,000%. Okay, and this guy, he's under everything. He's going to be your darkest petal, except for this overlap right there. That's it. So, ah, thanks for the stars, Lucinda. Yeah, guys, start popping those stars. You're all in the zone. <laughs> it got all quiet. Everybody's focused. <laughs> like I'm performing magic or something. It's not magic, guys. It's just technique. That's it. And everybody can do this. You can, 6,000%. Try. All you got to do is try. If you, I got to get more white paint. Um, if you screw it up, that's okay. That is all right. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so, ah, oh, I just put my finger in my black paint. <laughs> ah. Woo! <laughs> Guys, see that? You see that? <laughs> what do I do with that? <laughs> ah, right up the old. <laughs> Let's wipe that off. <laughs> okay, we're gonna wipe that off. I gotta. I gotta. <laughs> Thank you, Joan, for the stars. 
Thank you, sweetheart. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, so we're gonna do this battle, right? Gonna grab uh, that uh, purple I made. I'm gonna grab a little bit of white with it. I'm gonna do this edge that's on top. Bam! Okay, I'm gonna wipe off my brush. I'm gonna grab the uh, darker purple. This is all dark, right? And you could use your smaller brush to get into these corners. There's no shame in switching to a smaller brush. I'm just a beast. Okay, this is dark. Bam, that's dark. Okay. All this is darkity dark, dark, dark. Okay, I'm going to dab it out. Gonna wipe off my brush, dab out the light. Okay, I'm gonna swirl tap dab my brush, swirl tap dab so it's nice and moist and wet. Okay, and I'm gonna pull it through. bit more white because I wound up going over my edge so I'm just gonna put this edge back in okay guys soften this out a little bit more it's a little bright okay now we're gonna let thank you so much for the stars, Joan. Thank you guys so much. You're all Joan sending those stars all in a row. Thank you, sweetheart. Lucinda made it. Everybody send prayers and wishes. You're all zoning out. <laughs> it just got quiet. Everybody was chit-chatting before. And everyone's just like, whoa. <laughs> you guys crack me up. You think I don't know what's going on? I know what's going on. I know. Okay, so I'm not going to do every single petal on the red one, all right? The reason I say the red one is trickier is because we used purple and blue, a lighter purple and blue, and then even a lighter purple and blue, and the only thing we did was add paint. We added, thank you, Lucinda, we added white paint to get that right. You're all like focused. Um, so this one's easier just because all we did was add white paint to make the lighter colors. All right. And we didn't use white to get the darker color with the red flower or a yellow flower or an orange flower, any of those kind of flowers, you're not doing it, adding white paint or taking away white paint. You're actually mixing different colors for your darks and your lighter parts okay so um that's the difference it's the same process it's just using different paint my neighbor bought me a hot dog you're eating oh that sounds delicious i haven't had a grilled dog in a while okay so i'm swirl tap dabbing big boy I'm gonna grab my red, okay? I'm gonna grab red. And after that whole speech, I'm gonna grab a little bit of white so I can clean this edge up with the blue. Okay, I wanna clean that edge up with the blue. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of white just so it blocks the blue out. Okay, so that's the first thing I wanna do is block the blue 
And now I'm just going to dab this into my petal. And I'm going to dab this into my petal. Okay, so that's the first step, is we want to block the bloom. If it's not working with one coat, don't keep grabbing white paint and trying to make it work. You're just going to have to let it dry and do another coat of white, okay? So adding more white paint isn't going to accomplish nothing but getting a thick, goopy, blobby, white area. Thin coat, white with the red. If you've got to add it again, you're going to have to add it again once it's dry. I'm going to just watch you had eye surgery and your petals now look like... Oh, I like that, actually, Nancy. <laughs> Anything Picasso is uh, a masterpiece, you know what I'm saying? Okay, that being said, to make your darker red, you're actually going to add black. Scary, I know. So I want to show you my palette, okay? So here's my red. It's got some blue in it. I'm okay with that, right? I'm going to add a microscopic amount of black. And you're going to get this really pretty maroon color. Right? Now, microscopic amount of black. You guys saw, I didn't add much black at all. That's your dark color. That's your color that's going to go in the middle. And on your edges that are underneath. Okay? Now I'm, I have some a lot of my brush, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put it on the other flower too, because I can do two petals at once. Okay, so I'm adding my dark. You guys do one petal at a time because this will dry on you. Now I'm gonna wipe off my. Oh, I gotta do the edges. Oops, see, I almost screwed up. Gotta do my edges. My edges are darker. Okay, do my edge that's darker. My edge that's darker. Okay. Now I'm going to wipe off my brush. And I'm just going to soften. Right? I'm just going to dab and soften. We're softening. We're softening. We're going to soften. Now I'm going to grab just red. There's no paint on my brush. Wipe my brush off. I'm going to grab just red. Okay? And dab that in. Right? Dab that in. Okay? Pull the brush nice and flat. Soften it all out. Right? Same thing we did on the blue one. We're just doing it with colors. Grab just my red. Now, this dried on me, so I have to do it, go a little rough. I gotta go a little rough. That's because I was talking smack. It was like, oh yeah, you can do uh, four petals at once? Watch, we're gonna dry on you. <laughs> Notice that? <laughs> Alright, grabbing just red. Just red. I'm dabbing, right? Dab and then soften. Pull the brush to soften. Just red. Dabbing. Wipe off my brush. Soften. Now, the lighter color or the red, you're mixing yellow and red together. Okay? So, big boys in the water. I'm going to grab some clean red paint. Okay. 
Let's roll tap that big boy, get all that dark out of him, right? I'm gonna grab yellow. Whole lot of yellow, a whole lot of yellow. <laughs> yellow, and a little bit of my red. Okay, you can do a little smash smash. And the same thing as before, you're gonna put this on your curves. Now, the thing is, is this is a build. Okay, because it's gonna take a couple of coats to get the brighter area brighter. Why? Because yellow and red are see-through. Now I'm going to grab just yellow, lightly arch that in, just yellow, just yellow, okay, like I said, it builds, so I'm adding just yellow now, because I'm building it up, and I'm dabbing, I'm dabbing, so this is the one that's a little more tricky because you're using colors instead of just lighter paint. Right? And then I'm gonna swirl tap dab my brush. <laughs> and I'm gonna run it through. Yeah, TikTok has the uh, stickers. I'm gonna grab a little bit of red paint. So I swirl tap dab my brush, I grabbed a little bit of red paint, and now I'm softening. So instead of just softening with uh, a clean brush, you're going to soften with red paint on your brush. Right? Clean up your edges, all that good stuff. I'm not doing all of that because I already showed you how to do all that with the blue flower. I'm just showing you that when you grab the red paint now and you go to soften, this is all going to soften together. And it's going to look marvelous. Marvelous, I tell you, marvelous. And then you can go in with Mini Me, your small shader. Make sure he's nice and clean. Grab just yellow again. Come in here and put in some just yellow. Okay, flicky do it on. It's gonna blend out really quick, so you just need to do a few swipes and then leave it alone. I'm gonna wipe off my brush. Grab just yellow again. Flicky do that in. Now, I'm wiping off my brush because when I flicky threw that through, right, it picked up red paint. That's why you need to wipe the brush off because it picked up red paint. All right, grabbing just yellow again. Okay. So, the red flower is definitely level up and it's only level up because you're working with black yellow and red instead of purple and white <laughs> all right so the red flower might take might uh you know take you a minute take you a little bit to kind of get it uh to where you want it to be it's the same process right dab your dark Right? Put your dark in, soften the edges. Put your light in, soften the edges. 
clean your brush, flat swipe through to blend it all together. Mini Me, you can accentuate your darks and your lights even more, and then you zigzag zoom it through. That's it. That's the whole thing, guys, right? And you want to do these with curved lines and picture where the bends of the flower are, like I showed you with the paper. That's it. Easy peasy, guys. You guys can do it. I know you can. I wouldn't bother showing you if I didn't think you could do it. <laughs> you might need to take a woo moment. You might turn around and have to like, let it dry and then do it over, right? Because everything has to be wet. Can't blend with dry paint. If it gets a little dry on you, if you put more water on your brush, you'll be able to get it to maneuver, okay? Just not too much. The last step of these flowers is the center. So to center, I'm going to take tiny, right? You want to make sure your white paint is nice and loose and thin, right? Like pudding. If you go to do this with thick paint, it's not going to work. So add a little water to your white paint. Make it like pudding, right? What nice, soft pudding. You're going to do a swoop. You ready? The big old swoop. You're gonna find your, go to your center of your flower and you're gonna swoop your line in. Okay? And then after you swoop that in, you're gonna round the bottom so it takes up the whole center. Close up! Thank you guys so much for the stars. You're awesome. We got 600 so far. Those of you that don't know anything about the stars, they're about a penny each. Okay? So I'm rounding out the center, I'm smoothing this through. Okay, I'm gonna grab some more white paint. I'm gonna make this a nicer line. Okay, now that I got my little swoop, my swoop game in, I can come in and, and tighten it all up. And then I'm gonna do my, um, my things that are sticking out on the top, <laughs> whatever these things are, right? Hibiscus has like the weirdest center I've ever seen. It's really cool though, okay? And five is better. Odd numbers are always better. Grabbing more paint, I'm gonna put the little circles and I'm just scribble circling. Right, we're gonna grab Nifty, put the little stemmy things, I'm just flicking, just flicking, and Nifty is not a marker, don't press harder, press harder, you're gonna get a glob. You'll get maybe two flicks, and then you're gonna grab more, okay? Two flicks, that's it, two flick limit, two flick limit, okay? And you can have these like crossing each other. You don't have to put them perfectly like one way or another. They cross each other and do all these cool little things. And then I'm just going to put my dots. And once this dries, you're just coloring it in, guys. That's all you're doing. Um, you know, you map it in. And then once it dries, you're just coloring it in. That's all you need to do. Okay, so um, when you do the one for the red flower, when you go to color it in, make sure whatever color you're doing, whether it be yellow or orange, um, you just want to make sure it's a different color than your flower petals. Okay, so notice how this one is yellow through the whole thing. When on this one I did red. Okay? So you just want to make sure that it's a different color than your petals. Red. I made that orange, right? Because it was over this petal. So I couldn't do it red. I had to pick a different color. These guys were yellow. And that's it. That's the whole painting. So as you guys are doing that, I want to show you, I don't know if I told uh, Facebook, I definitely told uh, Tiki Talk, um, 
Guys, if you don't do the stars, if you'd rather send support another way, um, if you go to my free, um, my website, www.evesartistry.com, you can thank you for the stars listening that you can um, use Venmo and PayPal. Okay? Um, I have a thing uh, where if I sell off the easel, it's $50 off. So if you want to purchase the original, and the next three paintings I show you, since you're in my live, you get to, um, all you would do is message me after the live so we can work out the details, direct message me through Facebook, and you will, you'll receive $50 off the purchase of the painting. It's my Off the Easel special. Okay, so if you'd like to purchase the Hibiscus original, all right, I'll let you look at it again. Okay, so this is available off the easel during this live. All right, and you have to message me after the live. You can't message me four days from now saying you want to get it. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> it's not off the easel anymore if it's four days later. <laughs> the other ones that are part of the off the easel special, and you direct message me, right, because you want to purchase them before it hits Etsy. Once it hit, you're so welcome, Janice. Thank you for hanging out, okay? And I'm going to show you next week's, too. So this is available off the easel. Our awesome lightning storm. I love this painting. This painting is awesome, right? You got your lightning. You got your tree being split. You got the awesome cliffs with all the colors, the dark waters, okay? So this is available. Look how the lightning looks like. It's making everything glow, right? And that's just white paint, okay? Um, we have this one. As an off the easel, thank you, Diane. Um, this one's an off the easel special. This one has, thank you, Wanda. This one has so much color in it, right? Let me give you a close-up. Look, look at all the colors that are in the water. And then the sky, you guys see that? It has so much color in it. And then you have the amazing waterfalls and the quadruple wave, right? This wave has layers, baby. We got one, two, three, four layers. A four layer wave going on here. And there's another wave back, back in here, right? This one big guy. Okay, so this one is available off the easel. And the last one off the easel. This is a fan favorite. We have this one available. So this one's really cool. You got lots of texture in the cliffs. You got your man in the moon, the waterfall, and then all the reflections. The reflection of the cliffs, waterfall, the reflection of the moon. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate that. So, I like doing a little gallery show for you at the end of the live. It's fun. You guys get to see all the cool stuff, right? So, and if you like any of them, you have the chance to save some mega money. Mega money. Okay. And next week. Da, 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 da. You guys ready for next week? Do, 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 do. Da, 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 do, 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 do. <laughs> you want to see? I got it right here. You want to see? You ready? You're not ready. Are you ready? I don't know if you're ready. <laughs> I'm such a brat, right? Okay, here you go. Boom. Told you I was done with summer. <laughs> This is next week, guys. Back on Friday next week, okay? So, we're going to do the Northern Lights. We're going to do um, Far Away Forest. We're going to do our pine trees, our little foliage, right? You guys know how to knock this out of the park. Thank you, Wanda. This, you got, most of you already know how to do. Most of you that paint with me, we've done this a bunch of times. Right? Smushing, flicking, all that happy jazz. Right? Um, 
What is new and maybe a level up for some of you is doing the forest that's far away. Hey, Liz, how you doing, sweetheart? Um, and the Northern Lights. Okay, so these are our level up things, and this you already know how to do. All right, guys? So, let's see. Liz said hi. I don't know if your comment came in late or, or what, Liz, but how you doing? Liz is here. We got Nancy, Becky, Debbie, Wanda, Diane, Tina B, Cindy, Ann, Sam, Joan, Barbara, Kimberly, Terry, and Carolyn. Thank you guys so much for the stars. If you ever any ever if you ever have any questions, DM me through Facebook. There's a message button right at the top of my page. You will get an immediate answer. Well, you'll get an answer faster that way than anything else. Okay? So, 6,000%. Contact me anytime. If you want to purchase one of the Off the Easels, that's how you'll do it. Uh, send support through PayPal and Venmo. You can hit the support button. I'll share the links right here. Anybody that sends support of $5 or more, you get two free Nifty brushes. Alright? So, keep that in mind. You will get the Mr. Nifties, because he's nifty. Um, if you want the Nifties with your support donation, you have to direct message me your address. If you do not do that, don't post it anywhere. You have to message me your address. Um, it's the only way to get them. Can't send them to you if I don't know where you live. <laughs> Anywho, I love you all. You all warm my heart. I hope you all have an amazing weekend coming up. I will talk to the sister about the YouTubes, and um, I'll see you all next week on Friday. All right, guys? I love you. Mwah. Have a great night. Bye.